Welcome to the opening session, which is called Populism, Citizen Engagement and Philanthropy. What is it that defines Canada as unique? You ask a random sample of Canadians, and their answer is multiculturalism and the accommodation of diversity. That Canada, in the minds of Canadians, has become a great sociocultural experiment. You know, I loved that stat which says 92% of Canadians said, yeah, gender equality, awesome. And yet we have 2% of women as Fortune 500 CEOs. So there's like concepts and then there's reality. And I'm sitting on that. Where does the philanthropic dollar have a double play? When you invest in people. Younger generations of people are more open and tolerant of diversity, of empathy with others. Um, so I am optimistic that more and more people are going to be open to dealing with issues of marginalized minorities, racism in our country, and so on. I think we have to be more conscious of how important it is to be in the front end of addressing social change and social tension, that we make sure we use all of our assets and strengths as foundations. We need to be more comfortable with risk, not just risk of failure, but risk in terms of role and voice and responsibility in those conversations, and be prepared to use our assets in a way that actually puts us in a place where we can really be useful on difficult subjects. I have tons of optimism for the future of Canada. When we get to see on the ground the next generation of leaders that's coming up to shape our region and our country, I don't have any concerns about whether this next generation of leaders is up to the task. I just hope the leaders currently at the top shove the chair over to make a little bit more room to let them in.